International Film Festival Silver Anniversary Edition. We'd like to thank Digitech, Black Magic Design, and Sedona Rouge for sponsoring the Media Room this year. And I have one of my favorite people back in the seat. Introduce yourself, introduce your movie. Uh, well, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Alberto Ferreras, and uh, you can call me Alberto. Yes. <laughs> uh, my movie is Lesson Number 7. You were here a couple of years ago. Your short took everybody by storm. We loved it. It was sick. It was a sick little movie. It was a sick little movie. I the really enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a little sicker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you take very incredibly touchy subjects and make them poignant and funny and well done. And where do you get these crazy ideas to do this? The, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, well, first let's explain people, you know, what Lesson 2 is about. And it's, it's, it's just a cute little seven minute short of what would happen if your mother never loved you. <laughs> and, you ha and you confronted her. And I know that it doesn't sound like something like funny haha, but actually uh, the entire script is a little bit based on my own uh, I'm not going to say it's based on my mother, but it has a lot to do with how I overcame my issues. Like, everybody has mother's issues, and so the movie, even though it's funny, it, it can be a little, uh, it's, I think the, the, it's a little deep. Well, it's a little intense. I mean, yeah. when your mother looks at you and says, no, I never loved yeah, you. I know. Um, <laughs> uh, but, you know, the, so let me tell you a little bit, uh, let's talk a little bit about the lessons as a, as a collection of yes. films. So, um, so uh, I've worked on film and, and I've worked in media for a long time and uh, feature films usually take five, six years to get made. Mm -hmm. I worked in publishing. A novel would take five, seven years from the moment that you finish it to the moment that it finally became available. So I decided to do these shorts that were like ideas that, you know, if I put them in the middle of a feature again, it would take me forever to have them made. But as a short, I can literally find the actors, shoot them in my apartment, yeah. and basically all the lessons that we've done six so far, uh, we do them with only one rehearsal and we shoot them in four hours. So that's very manageable. Yes. And I'm very lucky because we, only, we do it so fast, I'm capable of in uh, attracting really talented actors uh, who don't often get to play those parts mm -hmm. in big movies. And in, in Lesson 7, I have Olga Meredith, who she's been in a trillion movies. You've probably seen her like playing sometimes little parts. Uh, she was also in a show with George Lopez called St. George, and she had the lead there. But she always gets to play the grandmother, the mother of the drug addict. <laughs> of the, uh, you know, it, it, she, she's, a, she's a Latina actress so it's like always you know there's the, the risk of, of uh, being typecasted mm -hmm. so I, I invited her to do a part that not often gets offered to that to her and my other actress who's amazing is Shirley Rumierk she's been in Manifest recently in Rice all, all these like NBC shows mm -hmm. I think they're all NBC anyway so uh, it, it we, we spend basically like three four days together and that's it well, and what the product that you're producing out of these three or four days is really impressive. And it made me at the end just go, oh my gosh, we can all get through this. We just have to look at it in a different way. And this one in particular is on HBO. This one is on HBO. Yes, yes. You can have a taste <laughs> of the Sedona Film Festival in the comfort of your own home. Yes. Um, because <laughs> if, if you go to HBO Go or HBO Now, uh, you can just like click, look up lesson number seven. Actually, the full title, this is highly, yeah, this is so screwed up of me. Um, I had to actually uh, copyright it as uh, Lesson Number 7 by Alberto Ferreras, as if I was Baz Luhrmann, right? <laughs> so, but because there were so many other movies that were called Lesson Number 7, that it was the only way that I could have a different title. So I was like, yeah, screw it. Yeah, I'm going to have an ego the size of <laughs> the state of Texas and put my name on the title. <laughs> so look it up, lesson number seven. It's on HBO, believe it or not. That's awesome. That is really great news. And how did it feel to get another call from Patrick Swice saying that you made it into the 25th anniversary? I almost pooped my pants. <laughs> Uh, well, because I was so happy. Yes. <laughs> because I was so happy. I, 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 and I said this before, um, like when I was here last year, this is such a great festival. Mm -hmm. And I'm not kissing up because I should. I'm kissing up because I want to. <laughs> uh, the, 
bigger, let's say bigger festival, more like some of the glossiest festivals out there uh, don't have the sense of community that you guys have. Mm -hmm. Every night there's only one party and everybody's there and it is always great. There's a VIP lounge where everybody hangs out. You want to meet all the filmmakers, you want to meet the patrons, you want to meet, you know, the organizers of the festival. Everybody goes there. So, and Sedona is the most beautiful place on earth. Mm -hmm. So these little yearly pilgrimage, um, <laughs> it makes me coming. deeply happy. It makes me poop. <laughs> <laughs> This is who I'm And it's a good thing, you know, keeping you regular. Yes, <laughs> yes. The Sedona Film Festival. Pat is going to be so excited that he's keeping you regular. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> oh, God. Can we edit that? No, we're live. We're live. Thank you for sharing Whoa. your personal life. <laughs> um, no, seriously, so, I'm very grateful. Yeah, no, and this festival loves you. And you had a screening last night. How did it go? It was fantastic. Yes? Uh, I tell you, I, I get a little anxious every time we show the movie because... I, I'm, it's it's a touchy subject, and I'm afraid that some people are gonna misunderstand what I'm trying to do with this story. Mm -hmm. And honestly, what I uh, what I want is for people to, s if you have issues with your mother that you have not resolved, do it. Yes. Do it while they're alive. Don't you know? Nobody's perfect. You know, there's horrible, unfortunately, uh, situations that it's up to you to try to salvage mm -hmm. and do it while they're around. Otherwise, you're going to reincarnate and you're going to have them in your life again. Right, karma. I we, know. We're big on karma Gee. here in Sedona. I, so. I'm a believer. Uh, we are, too. <laughs> we are, too. And each one of these lessons is quite, quite a, a lesson for ourselves to move through something. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Yesterday was fantastic. It was packed. Everybody loved it. I, I gave my little speech. I gave a little dance. Somebody, someone thought I was Antonio Banderas. Oh, uh, wow. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but Yay, it was you. wonderful. <laughs> Yay. Yay. It's probably my hair. <laughs> um, but, but it was a truly... Um, it's the first time, actually, we have a, a, a live screening. I mean, oh. a live screening. Uh, we had like a like theater. An audience. Yeah, an audience. So, so Were, I was, was there any anxious. question that stood out before we go out? <sighs> You know, somebody told me, and they always ask me that. They're like, you know, how long did it take you to craft that script? It's so tight. And I'm like, a uh, couple of hours. And I think it's because all, all these lessons, scripts that I write, are conversations I've had in my head for many years. Mm -hmm. So when I sit down to write the script, I already, it, I feel like there's a problem, and I came up with some kind of solution. Might not be the right solution for everybody, but uh, every single short is is a very honest uh, solution that I offer to the viewer. Yes, and where can people out there in the webiverse catch up with the <laughs> The webiverse. <laughs> uh, well, you know, if you, I, 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 I'm very proud of my Instagram account. I have to say so. <laughs> I follow your Instagram account. I like it I very like much. Yours. Alberto Ferreras NYC is my Instagram account, and I'm on Facebook. I'm a total Facebook whore, so absolutely <laughs> friend me up. And I have my website, that, which I don't. Do, do you? You have your website. Do you update your I website? Don't have a website. You don't. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Go no website. Just saying. <laughs> Keep up with us on social media. No. Yes. No. And, you know, if you have the chance, absolutely uh, check out Lesson Number 7 on your HBO streaming platforms. Absolutely. Well, thank you. You're thank always you. fun to be here. I can't wait to see you the next time. Uh, yeah. And we will catch you on the next round of the Sedona International Film Festival Media uh, Room interviews. And we will see you very shortly. Uh,